waiting patiently, preparing to set out her vision for Scotland. But within weeks, could she be shaping the next government of the United Kingdom? Here in Glasgow, revealing a manifesto for an election she made happen, making a promise that she would stop at nothing to keep Conservatives out of power. A Prime Minister in Boris Johnson who is dangerous and unfit for office. Apart from a push for another Scottish independence referendum, lots of SNP promises similar to those in Labour's manifesto. A vote for the SNP in this election is a vote to reverse austerity and to protect our NHS. A vote for the SNP is ultimately a vote for someone who will put Jeremy Corbyn in power in a hung parliament when no one has a majority. First Minister, do you think that Jeremy Corbyn is personally anti-Semitic? And if that is the question, a question in this general election, how can you even think of being able to put him in number 10 if you get the chance? I don't know Jeremy Corbyn personally well enough to answer uh, that question, but I do say unequivocally, emphatically, that he has failed uh, to get to grips with this uh, problem and uh, this issue within his party. But if Jeremy Corbyn's in a position uh, and Labour are in a position of being able to form a minority government, then better to have the influence of the SNP in there. The 59 Scottish seats she is fighting to win are disproportionately important on election night. Scotland matters. One in three of the most marginal seats in the UK is here in Scotland. The 13 Tory MPs elected in 2017 meant that Theresa May stayed in Downing Street. Nicola Sturgeon's made clear that she would put Jeremy Corbyn in power if she gets the chance. Defending Jeremy Corbyn this week of all weeks isn't easy. The bottom line in this election is that a vote for Nicola Sturgeon's SNP is a vote to put Jeremy Corbyn in Downing Street. I would much rather Scotland wasn't in a position of having to choose between the devil and the deep blue sea when it comes to Westminster parties or leaders, but you know, we have to deal with the reality. You are prepared to put a leader who, by your own admission, doesn't deal properly with the anti-Semitism question. Um, seems to be a price worth paying. What message it's, does that send to the I Jewish wish community? Jeremy Corbyn wasn't leader of the Labour Party. I, I, but, you know, the alternative to that is Boris Johnson, who has got his own charge sheet on, you know, racist comments and, and attitudes. Nicola Sturgeon won't even attempt to do deals over who is PM in a hung parliament, even as she sets down policy red lines. Labour says it isn't having any of it. There'll be no backroom deals, no frontroom deals, no coalitions, no deals of any description with the SNP, the Liberal Democrats or anyone else. We want to get a majority Labour government. I believe we will. Nicola Sturgeon triggered this election to make gains. They may come, but the signs in Scotland are the Tory voters holding up, possibly leading to a majority Boris Johnson government. Is this what the First Minister really wanted? Sam Coates, Sky News, Glasgow.